Hello everybody and welcome to Innocent Just Play Shadow Empire where we are now at war with two of our neighbors. One over here and one over here. We had a good relationship with these guys. Maybe we can actually make peace? Let's see. Difficulty is 100 minus your current relationship with the target regime, which is high. Modified by by your fist profile and negated by your mind profile. Alright. It's a difference of 5 in our advantage to make it easier. Difficulty is half, this relation is still unclear, that's not true. A successful result... In a success will result in peace and plus 10 rela relations. Uh, if critical success relations will at, le will at least rise to 35, your fist profile will go up by half your relation gain. Difficulty is also modified with your word score, which is really high. Difficulty can be set to impossible with certain cultures who do not engage in diplomacy. They do. Can be set much higher if the regime in question has a special hatred against us. I don't think they do. I'm gonna go and try this actually. Because especially with the rebel with, with rebels pos possibly popping up over here as well. I don't want to fight these guys. I don't know what they have. I'm gonna try and get some peace with them, I think. It might absolutely fail. It says no test. That might be because the modifiers are so much in our advantage, there is no test necessary. What I am going to do... Is just move out a little bit. Gobble up some territory, this way. Uh, the light tank, specifically. And we can see their city now as well. I mean, this might be a super idiotic move if we don't be, uh, if we aren't able to get peace. But otherwise, this might be a super genius move. We need to contend with this guy as well, and you're probably out of supply. Well, let's try. Uh, strategic council. Talk to them. Try to go for peace. Yes, sir. Critical success. Difficulty was minus 101. So, whatever we rolled... And I don't think we rolled high because the base extra was 74. It was always a critical success. So we're at peace now. And they love us. Can't we offer them protection as well? Oh, we can't do the this turn. But it might be interesting. Uh, what it does is make us kind of in an alliance. You have not a projector yet, does not have a master yet. Yeah, it makes us a kind of an alliance with them so that they will always be happy with us. That could be useful. Um, actually, next turn, I think I will move these guys back into Obernitz. You can explore a little bit more over there. Maybe we should just move this guy out there a little bit more as well. Together, perhaps deal with this one. I think I like that. I think I like that a lot, actually. I think I like it that much. I'm going to construct a dirt road in that direction. Just to keep those units in supply. Speaking of which... I think it is time to check a little bit on our road networks and stuff like that. Um, because I saw this and I don't remember building a fuel mine over there. It's a fuel mine by uh, owned by the private assets. So it's not a fuel mine of ours. They are mining fuel there. And they get some cash from that and we get a little bit of fuel. So how much fuel is actually going in that direction? 
uh, not fuel, how much logistical points? More than you need, because how much do you need? You need 50 logistical points, and there's about 1800 going there. So yeah, the traffic sign up here, uh, 90, brings us to, it's really difficult to read, 328, I think. How about 95 then? 173. That should be absolutely fine. And our logistical power is so strong that it even brings us over there. I'm gonna put this on... No, none. This on 95. Get a sliver over there as well. We are at peace. That means the borders can't really be extended anymore over there. Alright. So, one more war going on. And that's over here. It's all mountains, low mountains, low mountains. And there's some non-aligned forces in that direction. Alright, alright. How far is our model design council? Oh, next turn. Wait. This is the development of the all rounder. Did we not already develop? Oh, that's probably already did that this term, but in the previous episode. It's been a little bit of time between these two episodes. Um, so there are riots and urbanites. Really, guys? Alright, let's give them some credits Copy because we're that. flush with cash. Minor worker strike in Montgomery. Yes, let's sir. give them some cash as well. Sabotage and Rouge. Alright. Give them some cash. And rebels who rules. Oh, so there's actually a full on uprising, pretty much. Or is it? Rebels are deploying. Yeah, alright. Roger that. Dang it. I don't see them though. So maybe we avoided them? I, I didn't read the message. It's, it's uh, let's see is there, there there should be history is from between turns right and the vidcom is that i think there is a log somewhere if i remembered only where no zones rouge Detailed news. Uh, I don't think it's in here. Dang it! I should have just read whatever it said. Wait, what is Cass? Cass. Why is what is Cass and why is it one hundred? There's so many things about this beautiful game that I still don't understand. And so many things that I, I do, but... Arachnids apparently are migrating into our territory as well. Like, the letterbox is a little bit, like, less interesting news. That is, might still be very useful. Arachnids from the Zappellus territory. Oh, that's the war that we've started, that, that they started, right? So, these are arachnids, apparently. Interesting. I have no clue why they have chosen us as their target. But I can't really see what happened there. So I'm kind of hoping that nothing bad happened. How are our resources? It's okay. Because what I want to do with the medium tank that we did develop, I want to race one. So we can get some model of uh, some uh, field testing done on it. It is expensive. We do have the resources for it. That should make it a little bit better defended over here. If there are indeed rebels. Do you want to extend this road a little bit to help this guy out? I expect this guy to go a little bit back. So, I don't think that's necessary. 
All right, I think that's it for this turn. Let's go to the next turn and see how everything plays out. It's all gonna work out great, isn't it? Right? Maybe? Hopefully. I don't know why this happened. This is a kind of a visual bug where it looks like this is a different empire. And I'm pretty sure Austin just didn't like move out of our territory and stuff like that with a beautiful line here. I'm pretty sure it's a, just a visual bug. Oh, well, that's not what I anticipated them to do. It's kind of annoying. Oh, we did find the rebels. All right. Killed 600 men over there. Perfect. It's kind of what we wanted. All right, so there are definitely rebels there. We got mining techniques. Quad machine guns. I like it. All right, so there are rebels definitely right over there. Doesn't look like there are really a lot of them, though. Just like that, like that. Let's try to box you in a little bit more. How is the city going? Uh, Scissor. Yeah, the rest of them probably should stay there. I should pull you one, like one, two, three, four. I need to pull you back. Probably need some help even over here. We want to go this way? I think so. Let's just do one that way and one that way. Well, we push out here, here. I don't think there's anything interesting over there anymore. So it should be fine. All right, there was a refugee camp there. I'm pretty sure we saw that before. Well, let's not attack them. If we can, like surround them like that i think we'll be able to finish them off relatively soon as well uh you can go with them all right no arachnids on the border there how's montgomery doing some danger some fear but no unrest so that's good some unrest here still So let's take a look at the strategic map. There should be rebels. Yeah, that's the only place where rebels are. We could attack them, actually. I don't want to move you out just in case something goes wrong. Yeah, let's attack them. Let's see what happens. Going in. I don't think they have anything against our tech. Mission successful. And they indeed do not. There are a little bit more of them than we anticipated. Let's put that one there as well. But I think with all that we should be fine. Minor worker strike is just that. We just do what we always do. Yes, Throw right money to the problem. It's really a big blessing that we are so, yes, so rich. Yes, sir. Right that, sir. <laughs> I love being rich in this game. I love being rich in anything. Unfortunately, I'm not in real life, though. Let's extend the road over here. Like that. There are three towns that I want to pick up. There might be some valuable resources there. Alright. And we have enough metals that it's time for us to look at our building projects again. Oh wait, this is cut up. Before we do that, I need to remove this traffic sign. This place is otherwise completely cut off from any supplies. And we definitely do not want that. So that traffic sign can be removed for now. And perhaps for quite a while. How far is the model design council with our infantry? Can we expect it next turn? Good. That's what we'd like to see. Um, building stuff. So, what do we have? I think, yeah, we need some bureaucratic offices here. Still. And I think we might want to start building our heavy industry here. We have the energy. Not sure if we have the workers. Well, we probably do. 
that shouldn't be much of a problem. And we don't have the high tech parts, we need to buy four of those, and we need eight more machines. The machines we could definitely make ourselves. The high tech parts we can't. We have to buy them. So let's take a look at how expensive that is. I'm gonna buy them now. I don't think oh, the we'll price go. will really go down much. So we could technically build over here the heavy industry. We only need. We even make enough metal per turn by the looks of it. We only need eight more machine parts. I think we should. I really think we should. I'm on it. And then we're just gonna manufacture eight machines for oh, ourselves. We'll so we really have everything we need. And I think we still have some stuff left over to build. Like uh, we'll rebuild here the bureaucratic offices. I'm gonna wait for one turn, see how things pan out. I think we are about equal on production and consumption, but I don't want to take too much risk with that. Let's see if we can indeed do a offer protection to them. That's a pretty good roll. There's like a 75% almost chance that we make it. Let's try. I want to be their, their protector their, and them our protectorate. I think that's the correct terminology. Yes, Success. We are now friends and we'll never have to worry about them declaring war on us again. They are farmers and the technocratic alliance protectorate. Good. I don't want to be worried that they start invading us again sometime. Let's see if this territory actually also included some resources, perhaps. Some further deposits in Obernitz. That's good. Nothing, 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 nothing. So only in Obernitz there's some deposits. I hope that it's more metal. Because I think for all the things that we could just use more metal. Should we have more metal, then it's really easy to increase our industrial points in pretty much everything else. It's pretty much metal that we need right now. Fuel, we have enough. We're gonna find out. Um, I think that's it for this turn. Yeah, we moved everything. Don't wanna move these guys yet. These are fine over there. Let's see what happens. We might actually want to involve the medium tank as well into in, in a battle. We might have actually, or is that the the motor bikes? Because I think they get more like field testing done if you actually put them into combat. And I haven't really taken a look at their roles anyway. I but um, you are really being annoying, and I'm not really glad that I sent you this wait because it looked like there's some movement over there we're going to take a look with that in the history when the turn actually uh, is ours again still a revolution guards 2 is completed excellent fuel mix optimization is discovered fate stratum is awarded with not really that much of interest all right so history this is was how how it was some movement over there. Some more movement over there. Wait a minute. Did he take territory from us? No, he didn't. Good. And then... Got movement over here. Expanded over here. I think that unit that went like this direction is now right there. Or maybe now? I don't know. Maybe it is right there. Some moves up over there as well. Yeah, and definitely something over here as well. Alright. Um, I can say a lot about that, but the most pertinent thing about it is that's not good. Now we 
going to gamble more or less. Where is safe for this man to go? I'm gonna gamble with this unit. All right, so that's safe. So now you're back in supply. That's that's important. Oh yeah, that's just the motorbike. So the medium tank should be. Are you the medium tank? Are you the all rounder? Yeah, you're the all rounder. Good. Um. Let's move you. Let's move you. That's the light tank. Surround you completely, put you up there, and then just attack with everything we have. Uh, let's remove you guys out there. Now we want a little bit of bodies. Uh, I'm gonna go with the militia. So let's attack. Attack formation. Look at that. The medium tanks are shredding it. <laughs> They are a beast. Excellent job. Let's take a look at them. Oh yeah, they're they're pretty good against soft attack. Let's open their design log. They have a massive base design. Between 70 and 100 with rolled a 96. Uh, above average structural design, barely. Oh yeah, no, I'm I'm loving these medium tanks. Holy smokes! Now that we are the protectorate of Driftvale, or also known as Black Keep, we can see that territory as well. There's a huge ocean or lake, perhaps, over there, and there's more to be discovered up north. Interesting. But man, I was happy to see those tanks. Oh, that was beautiful. I want more of them. <laughs> uh, we are low on metals all of a sudden. So I guess, yeah, you are low on metals as well. I think I o overzealously lost building things, perhaps. Oh, yeah, there was some building going on here and here. Uh, probably because this the, the city over here got cut off. We gained more metals than I thought we did. But I think in the end it will be fine. It will take a turn longer, but it's not a biggie. A militia commemorative plaque. We can give our militia units a boost of 5 points for 200 credits. Why not? Makes you happy as well. We want to design a new unit of whirlwinds. We're gonna go with a high speed machine gun, 3 times the firepower. For a little bit more ammo use, 25% more. Well, ish. And um, and double the industrial power, which we have. The industrial points are easy. I'm gonna also go with the padded and virus suits. And workers are harassed in Montgomery. Montgomery is right here. Montgomery people are so upset they started work harassing our public workers. Investigate who is directing the harassment, which is a difficult role, or send it to troops. I don't want to send it to troops, but I think it's the best option here. We do have troops there. Yes, sir. Succeeded. We lost 200 troops, 400 militants were killed. We gained some fear there as well. And fear isn't the best thing. Like, fear will keep your city safe for a bit, but in the end, it will just erode their their loyalty I believe or maybe it doesn't hmm all right uh, let's take a look what do we want to do then I think that's all good you're safe now ish right Montgomery of a rouge yeah, but you still have a lot of unrest. So people who can go there. Shoot. There's nobody else. You still have the units there. This should be fine. We can, and we're gonna go deal with this thing. Especially want to take the basal pool again because of the hot bath. Gives one happiness to the population. And we could really use that. 
high unrest, high danger really does a number on the, the on the happiness of the population there. Right, I think we still need to move this. Ah, uh, we found somebody. Um, let's go south first and deal with that one later. Move you up. So we also have the refugees now. And that's a bad attack. We can go with some artillery. We can't go with artillery. Oh yeah, range attack. I of course had to select whom I wanted to attack with. Fire! I don't expect to really do... Uh, oh, we'll they actually help. got a hit in. I didn't expect much from it. That's fine. Just want to kind of bring them down a bit. Uh, we could make a little bit more progress with the road here. And that's... Further than that, it's not going to go. Uh, mainly because there is no supply. We need to build a traffic sign in this place. For like... Mm, oh, no, not here. Here for 90%. 90% is too harsh. 80. That's 169. And how much do you need to operate 100? So that's absolutely fine. These units... Are you still in supply? Yeah, you got everything you wanted last turn. Except for replenishments. I'm gonna wait with that a little bit because our metal situation is a little bit bad right now. Because, yeah, I'm pretty sure you can still make it. One, two, three. Yeah, you should also be still in supply next turn. So that's good. We can probably eliminate all this war zone over here because technically uh, we are still at war with two nations right now. Because these Obedient Hansa are still a thing. But that's going to be it for this episode. Next episode, we will probably start dealing with these men over here. We dealt with a rebel threat over here, so that's good. And uh, I really hope we can finish this one, these two off as well. But that's going to be in the next episode. Until then, thank you guys for watching, and I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.